Hello my soccer universe, it is time for the Premier League jersey review, yes I decided to do that one uh, next and yes uh, we have of course 20 Premier League teams in there and decided to split it up into four videos of five teams each. So before we go into it I just want to give you an idea of how I came up with the teams in each for each video. First off, I took all the pictures, I went on footy headlines uh, and screenshotted the jersey pictures from there. And then I also, um, if I couldn't find a good gold school picture, I did a Google search and you know, sometimes it's store pictures or whatever. That's how I compiled the pictures that you will see in this video. I always try to find one where there's only the jersey that's not on a mannequin or a play or whatever, but sometimes it doesn't work this way. Now, this is how I got the pictures. For the teams, I decided to take last season's final standings and then I'll go one, two, three, four, four, three, two, one, and so on, as you see up there. And then I choose for the corresponding video uh, the teams and sort them alphabetically. And so, in the third part, we have quite the London lineup with uh, Spurs, Arsenal, Palace, Brentford, and then Nottingham Forest, the only non London team in there. And yeah, uh, it's an interesting set, and we're gonna start right away with Arsenal, who have a very nice 90s looking uh, Adidas home shirt. I think the only thing that I really can fault them for is maybe that the crest with the dark blue around doesn't fit quite the color scheme because there's no uh, nowhere the navy else in there. So the crest almost looks, it doesn't really belong here, but you know, I'm gonna look past that. Uh, I think it's a really nice shirt. Maybe also the red on the under, uh, on the sleeves is a little bit weird, but uh, it looks classic. I, abs I really do like this, even in play. And given how Arsenal have been playing so far, it's a really, really nice shirt. Uh, up there with the best in the league. I want to give this a nine star. For the away jersey, that's the black one with gold. Almost a little bit missing the trend. Honestly, I like the gun logo. Uh, definitely just have the gun by itself. Um, wouldn't it be better if the stripes on the shoulders were also in this kind of goldenish color? I think it would make it look more cohesive. Um, and I'm not sure what the pattern is supposed to be. But overall, it's a decent jersey, but it does not come close to the uh, home jersey. It's also, you know, kind of on the back side of a trend that we have seen over the past few years. Um, and as usual, it's the third jer uh, jersey that I, I have seen it quite, quite a few times. I'm not a fan. The light pink uh, with the, is it navy and the light blue? Just doesn't scream Arsenal to me. Uh, I think there's an interesting pattern, a dot pattern or whatever is in there. Uh, if you know more, please drop below. But um, it's a little bit of a downer for me. Again, like most third jerseys have been uh, this year, or many, I shouldn't say most, many third jerseys have been this year, especially of the big teams. So yeah, um, it's not the worst jersey out there, but it's not great. So I'm going to give this a four. Brentford does something that I really like. They are reusing their last season's home shirt. So everything I've talked about that shirt is all, all, already out there. I've given that a six star. It's nothing special. I stick with it. I think the color is a little bit weird. Um, the away jersey is new and I think will be reused next time. It uses an old logo, which is nice. But on the other side, I am not sure about the whole blue thing out there. It kind of leaves me a little bit cold. Not the best jersey out there for me personally i think that the yellow one made a little bit more sense but yeah my personal feeling there again uh light, light, i put very much an english color uh again and i think if they would have maroon sleeves this would top it off uh yeah five yeah it's it has some interesting features but it's nothing special huh say what you will the third jersey when they played him at fulham with that one i said whoa that's interesting it looks a little bit like confetti a confetti parade or whatever which fits a little bit also with the whole whole bit it's an interesting design again close colors yeah thrown out of the window but this one is fun this is fun to look at um and kind of bookmarked a little bit yeah 
I will really want to have a brand for Jer 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 Jersey as a statistician. I think they fit this right down my alley. And that might be the one. I'm gonna go eight with that one. I do enjoy this one. Uh, it does, it, 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 it's sassy. I also really like what Crystal Palace are doing. Uh, Macron, I think it's the first time we see Macron. Macron, pull a twist on the uh, classic red and blue but in the almost the best way pos possible. I really like the brush stroke effect and that, you know, there are two uh, shades of blue in there there as well to make it a little bit more in interesting. And then the color tops it off for me. Um, that should be a, a Bologna jersey or even better. I think if Barca comes out with something like that, I would like it. This would be the best Barca shirt uh, in a long time. Yes, for Barca, you cannot have the white, of course. Um, but you know, just make this like blue or red and I think you're onto something. I do like this one a whole lot. Right up there with the best jer uh, jersey in the league, nine stars. Um, the away jersey, need I say more, same thing, we just take out a little, a little bit white, uh, perfect. And I like the outline around the sponsor, this is how you do it. This is how you do it. You, you don't need to make a box, you just can outline it and it works a treat. Also gonna go nine nine nine. nine. I really like what Palace is doing this season. Um, also like last season and the third jersey goes right up up up, up, up there as well. I really like black with the uh, red and the blue and then a sash and again brushstroke figure. It it is so um, you know it's a unified theme across all three jerseys, which is always a great thing to have. And for that, Macron did an outstanding job here. I really like this. Uh, I think. I mean, I don't want to say much, but for, but for me, Chris, Chris Bells have probably the best set in the league currently. Let's leave London for a little bit and go up to Nottingham Forest, which as of this uh, shul shooting at this video, still don't have a main sponsor. Which kind of makes this jersey a little bit pointless because yes, it's all I would like to have from Nottingham. I'm so glad that Nottingham Forest are back, back in the league, despite me not being a fan of their owner at all. But you know, Nottingham Forest, great to have them back. Plain red shirt, we don't want to have much more, but it seems so empty. And then, you know, you have the pattern on the sleeves. If you put it at least on the body, it would be something nicer to look at. Either go all plain red, but that's also a little bit too much. So uh, in that sense, it's nothing special. And I've seen a few Nottingham Forest, I think two, two or three years ago, I was almost about to buy one because it had with, with the two stars somewhere, which of course stand for the European Cups in 79 and uh, 80. But for, to me, this is almost a little bit a waste of a good uh, waste of a jersey because there is not much to it. And Macron, as we saw, just can do a whole lot better. For that reason, I got, it's a five star. Sorry, 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 sorry to say it. I like the sponsor. I mean, look at the away jer jersey. That one doesn't need any sponsor. The sleeves carry it. Uh, it looks really nice. I want to know what the pattern is. Maybe someone of you guys can drop a comment below. This one looks really great. I really like, like, like this one. This goes right up there with the best jer jer jersey. Awesome work by Macron. I even like the weird color. I'm going to give this nine, nine stars because you can do great jersey without a sponsor and it not looking empty like the other one did. Third jersey though, yeah, mm, ah, not quite subscribed to that one yet. Really, uh, I think this could look a little bit better, although I do like the playfulness of it. Um, but I'm gonna go six here. It is still better to me than the home jersey, oddly enough. Which leaves us with the last team, which is a team that I'm wearing. And Spurs, you know, last season jersey, I slammed for being too simple, despite the red, red ones, but it was definitely a grower. This one here, I'm not sure if it will grow on me, because the red jars so much with the light uh, yellow, or the, the neon yellow. That to me is a jar, uh, jarring look. Also jarring is that the, on the back, the color, I mean, if it would go all around, I think it would look better, but on the back, it's all this neon. I think the neon should not touch the white. That's one thing for me. Other than that, it's very simple again, but I find the red and the neon is just a jarring combination. And yes, red should not even be on a Spurs shirt, but it has been there, so I have accepted it. Um, if the red was um, in um, navy, as it should be, I think it would be a much, 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 much better shirt, but in this way, it's just jarring to me. Uh, cannot go higher than four here. 
the away shirt is among the worst. This is the worst possible way to do it. Colors, great. But why do you have to accentuate every little patch of this horrible template? And I repeat, it's a horrible template. This thingy here, at least keep it in the same color, then it looks all right, kinda. Still not great, but it looks all, all, all right. But I don't know what they were thinking here. I actually do like uh, the, the, the body is all right, but uh, everything above the shoulders, I don't know who signed off on this. It's a terrible idea. At least get the sponsors in the neon. It's a terrible idea. This is, uh, this is, I hate this as much as I do the Man City third kit. So it's a one star. Uh, they redeemed themselves slightly with the third kit, but it's also a little bit too wild for me. Spurs not looking good this season. Going from Crystal Palace, who look great, and I actually uh, I have to, I have happened him saying I I there is some stuff about Spurs that I do like, but the look of this is just not good. Um, again, too psychedelic, a little bit too wild. Um, three there, and yeah, from my rating, Spurs seem to be the worst team in the here. But this is all my opinion. I would like to know what you think about the jerseys, where you agree and disagree with me. I also will put up a poll on which jersey set of these you like best. And then the next uh, uh, poll will then be, of course, who is the of the four winners, who is the best over in the Premier League. I would like to hear your opinion on that. Um, please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day.